Do you know why ships don't sink or dip in water? The ship do not sink in water due to Archimedes' principle. Archimedes' principle, a body totally or partially immersed in a fluid experiences an upthrust equal to the weight of fluid displaced. A ship which has a large weight displays a large volume, thus large weight, of water. Hence the buoyancy force acting on the ship is much greater than the weight of the ship itself, making it to float on water, thus ship do not sink in water. You might be wondering why a iron nail sink in water but ship float, because the density of nail, as of iron, is much larger than the water. So it sinks easily. The weight of the water displaced by the ship is equal to its weight, so it floats. Whereas the weight of the water displaced by the iron nail is less than its weight, so the iron nail sinks. What is buoyancy? We can thank Archimedes for being the first to explain the principle behind this puzzle. Archimedes was a Greek scientist who was born in 287 BCE. This principle is known as buoyancy or Archimedes' principle. Archimedes' principle states that the force exerted on an object in a fluid is equal to the weight of fluid displaced, moved out of the way, by the object. This force is called buoyant force. The buoyant force pushes upwards against the object. Gravity exerts a downward force on the object, its weight, which is determined by the object's mass. So if the force exerted downward on the object by gravity is less than the buoyant force, the object will float. How can this principle be applied to ships? Ships are enormous steel vessels. A ship can have a mass of hundreds of thousands of tons. Steel is much denser than water, so you would think that massive steel ships would sink, right? Well, think again. What helps keep ships afloat is their shape and what is inside them. Ships are not solid pieces of steel. Instead, they are mostly hollowed out shells of steel. There are all sorts of components inside the ship. For example, the ship's engine, fuel, and cargo may be inside. But most importantly, there is air inside a ship. Here, we share informative content that we hope you'll enjoy. Our channel covers a wide range of topics to learn and increase your knowledge. If you find our videos helpful to learn or informative, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay up to date with our latest content. We love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more great content in the future.